Welcome to another episode of the Headlight Restoration Pro, where I'll be showing you how to take headlights like this Let's and go. turn them into something like this. Damn it. Perfect. Picture perfect. Better than a day rolled off the lot. Stay tuned for some more of this. This world is a lie. A temporal precision. A single change. What was it? When was it? Calculating. 2024. That is the when, where is the where. Calculating. Earth. The change in the there. Let's get down to business. This is a 2010 RAV4. A uh, very nice looking vehicle. Vehicle that will last forever. Um, it uh, has a big old hump right here, as you see. This is going to be the most difficult part of this light. Other than that, it's a pretty fairly easy light to work with, and uh, you should be able to make some, you know, good headway with it. Starting here with a 3M P500, just because there's a lot of damage on this light, you can see how badly it's fogged over. Um, you know, so, you know, normally I want to start with the soft light like this. I try, if possible, start with a P800, but this light has uh, a lot of damage to it. So I got to start with the heavy grind of the P500. Uh, just a basic set of uh, stuff I use always is going to be the P500, the P800, and then the, you know, the so on and so on, right? Uh, every once in a while, the changes where I start at a lighter grit or I start at the more heavy grits. The heaviest I go up to generally is the P220. Uh, sometimes I go to the P180, but uh, you don't want to use that much of a heavy grit because there's a lot of cleanup after all that destruction. Trying to, um, you know, get these videos out. I've been doing a lot of uh, work, a little uh, side work or whatever. Uh, working at this body shop, um, you know, doing some headlights for them. And actually was doing some body work on uh, at this body shop around the way. Who um, Actually, I take my personal vehicle to to get some body work done as well. Um, you know, they're amazing. It's almost like they can just change out that body real easy. And, you know make everything pretty much brand new and then they have me come in and take care of the headlights and it's a, it's a good working business relationship um, it's always good to keep a good body man on your roster because if you are a headlight restore headlight restoration and body shops go hand in hand okay mechanic shops go hand in hand you want to keep up your cousin relationships if you're really trying to be an avid headlight restorer why because these guys need this and they don't really have time to do this and some of them aren't trained or skilled enough naturally to do a headlight a headlight has to do with a lot of a lot of science okay it's not um you know body work does too but it's more of um i don't know a cr they're both crafts okay but um you know headlights is a little bit more scientific a little bit more artistic um but a body shop is a little bit more um i don't know it's, it's hard to explain but you need them both uh you know i got a lot of mechanics that hit me up for work and i got a lot of mechanics uh you know uh em employees or mechanics um uh, people who go to this mechanic who need headlight restoration and they hit me up as well he refers to work as you know I do exemplary work of course but that's working business relationship uh, mumbo jumbo we're here to talk about headlights of course and with uh, this structure here this method of doing headlights you can definitely definitely pretty much conquer you know anywhere in the world or take over anywhere in the world with this method because this method is so fierce it just looks it feels it, it just everything about it is so much more superior than any other headlight restoration method but yeah um you know trying to keep up my relations and stuff uh when you're out there uh doing you know you're mobile you're doing uh you know body mechanic work or excuse me not body mechanic uh, we're not working on bodies no more we're working on headlights okay um so we work on headlights out there. It's a spectacle and people want to know what's going on. You know, what can I, you know, damn, can this guy do this to my headlights or whatever? And they're always pulling up and stuff like that. So you always got to keep your um, community relations in check as well. Uh, sometimes it slows you down, you know, but it's like that's a potential customer. And, you know, they might need their their uncle's car done or their car done or whatever. Uh, this particular job, I did another vehicle here, which is on this video right here. Um, and this uh young lady's uh, vehicle uh, was actually um, her, her mother's vehicle, this one that I'm doing, and the other one, the Lexus, was her vehicle. But I, got a, I get a lot of that. I get people looking through windows and, um, 
you know, uh, you know, looking and reading my sign and stuff. And then they're like calling me on the phone while I'm working on there. They're like, I'm looking at you right now through the window. Do you really do that? And hey, do you do other stuff besides just headlights? And it's like, you know, that's why you want to keep your sign out there. If you have your sign out there, your A-frame, uh, and they know, you know, you got an A-frame, it's colorful, it looks good, whatever. It really attracts attention. Now, when you attract that attention, you got to understand, attracting that attention is attracting the bag, is attracting currency, is attracting uh, future business endeavors, and it's attracting customers. Um, I even had a guy who pulled up on me while I was working on this vehicle, and uh, he owned a uh, French fry shop. He had, like, an exotic French fry shop where they made, like, you know, all these bomb-ass French fries or whatever. And uh, he had a Tesla and stuff, but he wanted some other stuff done to his vehicle as well. But with that bringing that up, you got to utilize what you've got. I mean, of course, you want to be a headlight business because that's where um, all the necessity is. And that's where the need is. But, you know, like I said, when you're working on, you know, if you know how to do some body work, work on some bodies or whatever, um, you know, you can, you know, do that, too. Like I do. You know, I helped out the guy. You know, I helped out the guy. He said, hey, can you, can you work on this? You know, can you buff this out or whatever? While, um, you know, after you're done doing the headlight, and I'm like, yeah, you know, you know, I do that. I shoot that. So I buffed out some panels that they worked on or whatever. And it's a working relationship. But um, even that, you have to spread your hustle. You got to, you know, know what you're worth and know um, what kind of things you can uh, set for your natural talent and your skill on. This is why I do all kind of things. I do uh, oxidation removal. I do, um, uh, you know, engine bay cleaning and detailing. I do, um, you know, all kind of stuff, man. You know, if, if you if you've seen some of my uh, other videos, I do polish, buff, and wax. I do, um, you know, just all kind of stuff. And it's just, uh, you know, if you're one trick pony, you, you you're gonna do so much, all right. I do a lot of headlights, but every once in a while, whatever, every other every other job, whatever, I'm doing something else as well to maximize the earning potential. I always joke with my girl and I said like, you know, with this method and you know, I you know, it's two to my horn. I am I am really good at things, okay? And when I say I'm tuning my not tuning my own horn, I just mean like I am I am that good, right? Um, but what I'm saying is you could do it with this method. And I always tell my girl, like I was saying, uh, with this method, whatever, you know, someday maybe you know that movie Armageddon with uh, Bruce Willis, okay? Um I always say, well, you know, I'm so good at this. You know, one day they might need headlight restoration in space or one of these other planets or whatever, right? And they might come get me to do some special headlight restoration to, like, save all these worlds and stuff like that, right? Save the galaxy and whatever, right? So I say I'm that good at headlights that, you know, might happen someday. <laughs> Just joking. But like I said, with the method and the teaching of me, I can get you there. I can get you to the highest epitome of a headlight restoration. Highest level, highest everything. And it's not just, uh, you know, on this channel, it's not just uh, headlight restoration. Like I said, you know, I throw some business stuff out there and ideologies and whatnot to maximize your time and effort to get the best bang for your buck. And like I said, uh, through the sands of time, this is the best headlight restoration method there will be. Uh, the only thing is it can evolve just a slight hair, but there's not much room for evolution with this headlight restoration method. This is the finest quality. This is the highest quality. And the thing is, I put it out here and I show you step for step how I do things. There are, um, it's a scientific mathematical equation that will really have you doing things that you can't believe that you could ever do. Perfect. And I know what you're saying. He's like, oh, I can't do this and that. I wouldn't sell yourself short because even just even the base level human or anybody could definitely uh, do uh, certain things, you know, you can only do what your ability can do. Okay. Not everybody can, uh, learn how to fight and become Mike Tyson. Okay. Um, he had something special or whatever, but you can definitely learn how to throw a punch. If, if, if you were, t if you were taught by this person, if you're taught by Mike, right, you could definitely throw a punch. Well, all right. I guarantee you. So what I'm saying is that, um, don't sell yourself short. Like, Oh, I could never do a headlight restoration that good. I'll never get that good. If you do this a couple times, you try this method a couple times, whether you're a professional or whether you're anybody, I guarantee you will see that it is superior. I guarantee that you will learn and I guarantee that you will see how uh, DIY friendly it is and, uh, how potent it is, uh, in the eyes of other people and the eyes of yourself. Okay, which which matters. 
like I said, I've tried many other methods and I've, I've, you know, been all over the place doing headlights, but, um, you know, this one takes the cake. This is a whole new level. This is the future of headlight restoration. Mark my words. Headlight restoration is um, like a pandemic. I would say epidemic, but an epidemic is something that's uh, beginning and it just affects uh, certain areas. A pandemic uh, affects, you know, you know, the whole world. If worlds are, um, you know, just everything, the galaxy affects everything, right? That's a pandemic, you know, like when they said, you know, uh, COVID-19 or whatever is a pandemic because it affects everything, affects the economy, affects all these things. Headlight restoration need is a pandemic. Uh, it's so far and wide and there's so many vehicles on the road now today, modern day vehicles that will need this process done uh, to stay on the road with uh, viable lights or visible lights. And you need lights for a vehicle to function. You could drive in the day. I mean, if you just got to drive in the day or whatever, whatever, but you need lights for a vehicle to function. That's for sure. If you didn't, they wouldn't be there, correct? And like I said, it's the most slept on uh, needed vehicle maintenance aspect of vehicle uh, maintenance uh, in the world, you know? And also, this is the most efficient method right here. It's almost... Um, it's 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 hardwired it's uh you know it's it's just it's different like i have a lot of people that like why don't you just uh take off the headlights or do you want me to take the headlights off for you to do it or whatever or i have them off and it's like actually if you have the headlights off it's a um it's it's kind of like an upcharge they're more difficult to do when the headlights are off what's gonna hold a headlight still better than a 2,000 pound vehicle. That's why I choose this masking off process. And when you're a mobile service, okay, or even if you're uh, a, a uh, brick and mortar service or whatever, uh, to sit there and you know do mechanic work and some of these lights you have to take off. You have to take off the um, you know the fender wells and the and the fender and the bumper, all that stuff to get to the headlight to take it off and then reverse the process and you don't want to be doing that when you could just spend you know six minutes ten minutes to tape off the headlights and then get started to take the tape off the headlights is very easy it's very quick you know it's like a minute Nevertheless, uh, there's over 150 videos on this channel, and you can definitely see that um, there's uh, there's some science behind this. Um, you're watching these videos, you're watching this channel, basically because you saw uh, flashes of how good my headlights come out with this method, okay? And uh, it's done on this channel over 150 times, and I've done more lights. You know, that's that's like a, a percentage of the lights I've done that's on this channel. I only uh, record maybe one or two a week, uh, you know, sometimes three if... Um, you know, you know, if it persists or whatever, and um, you know, I don't do every single one. I just you record the ones that I feel like recording. If it's a nice day, if the lights are right or whatever, it just depends on you know what I choose. Through and through, this uh, you know, this channel is you know is proof. It's the truth. Uh, you can see how uh, many videos I have on here, and you'll see how many times I stick a perfect headlight restoration. And like I said, perfect. once again, uh, I don't record every video or every headlight restoration that I do. But once again, just want to reiterate, you got to keep your relationships open with uh, people that can bring you business, okay? Um, sometimes they happen organically, but uh, sometimes uh, you got to make them happen. Uh, you know, if you're advertising or if you're near one or you know a friend who has a body shop or something, you'd be like, hey, man, I, I, I shoot this shit. I do body work as well. You know, saying I can uh, get in there and do some good body work or I can... Um, you know, I can do the headlights, or whatever. That's my specialty, and I do all these other things. Uh, and it, it just raises attention to yourself easier, because uh, you'd be like, I'm not just one trick pony. Although this is something really needed, you do so many things, you're going to become useful. You're so useful that everybody's going to want work, and then you know, want your work or want you to work for them. And then what does that make? The more useful you are, and the more uh, things you can do uh, with your skills is going to breed you a better income in the future. Useful people get used, and you want to get used the correct way, right? I'm no time traveler, and I don't know uh, what's going to happen in the future. I can't possibly see through the future, correct? But I know this is the future of Heather Restoration. This world is a lie.
A temporal precision. A single change. What was it? When was it? Calculating. 2024. That is the when, where is the where, calculating birth. The change in the timeline originates there.